like I said, blogs are a very common way of communicating science. It's it's like the easiest thing that you can do. You can start off with right? You know, you can just create um, an account on Medium or have your own blog on the Internet. It's very easy to set that up. You can start writing, right? Um, you can also uh, pitch to different places like, you know, the wire science where you have conversations around science latest research is discussed, uh, et cetera, right? So uh, this is a great place for you to get started. Um, there's research matters where you can get started, right? So these are a few websites where you can pitch uh, with an idea or concept that you have uh, that you want to talk about in science. And, you know, if you get accepted, your, you know, your post will be out there, right? So that is something that you can do. Um, what else can you do if you are on the internet? Of course, most of you are on social media, so you can use uh, Twitter or you can use LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, whatever format or whatever platform you're comfortable in, right? And uh, talk about the science that you are uh, working on or studying, right? So um, <clears throat> you might think that okay, I'm doing my bachelor's in biotechnology, and this is so so basic, right? But uh, not a lot of people understand what you're studying, like. It could be as simple as the concept of cloning, let's say, right? Um, you can probably break the entire concept down into small uh, infographics or small posts on uh, Instagram, or you can make a tweet audio if you're on uh, Twitter, right? So that is something that you can do. Um, I mean, we've actually worked on a, a booklet that we made for an academic institute where we, you know, summarized their research uh, 60 years of research. So this is a coffee table book that we made for uh, an institute in Hyderabad, right? So uh, if you uh, are studying in college and there are these magazines that come out, you can contribute to writing articles in those uh, places, right? That is something that you can do. And of course, you can also uh, pitch to different um, uh, places and companies that need writers to talk about uh, different concepts in science. Um, of course, uh, YouTube channels, YouTube videos are something that uh, are a common form of uh, communicating science in a video format. Uh, there are, you know, again, Instagram, these posts that you can do uh, or reels that are pretty famous now uh, to communicate science. Um, carousel post whatever uh, so here uh, this is an interesting um initiative called uh, superheroes uh, against superbugs where uh, the group is in engaging with um <clears throat> the group is engaging with school students uh, to talk about the perils of use uh, overuse of antibiotics, right? So they go, go to different schools um, and they engage with the students, uh, sensitize them uh, about how antibiotics are, you know, how antibiotics work and what is uh, going to go wrong if we overuse antibiotics and things like that, right? So this is something that you can uh, check out. Right. You can always be part of these. Uh, you can just write to them, reach out to them and see how you can contribute to, uh, you know, uh, this initiative. Um, of course, um, like I said, in cafes and in public spaces. Right. So this is uh, called Chai and Why. This is happening in this happens in Hyderabad. This is an initiative of uh, not Hyderabad, sorry, Mumbai. So this is a, an initiative from TFR Mumbai where uh, they have they invite a scientist in a theater or you know uh, in a public in any public space and they have interactions about a particular topic with them, right? So if you're in Mumbai, you can see how you can be a part of this uh, space. Um, of course, you know museums are there. And this is an interesting uh, group called uh, FLOSS or uh, for the love of science. So this is a very, um, very uh, new initiative that a couple of uh, students who are still studying are doing this initiative, right? So I'm sharing all of these ideas 
for you to uh, think about what are the different formats and ways you can engage uh, with people, right? So this is an organization or a group that is going to uh, different societies and apartments, engaging with students in different topics, uh, showing them interesting things, making them ask questions, creating that curiosity, right? So that is something that they're doing. So if you are someone who's interested to do that, uh, you can um, look at how uh, you can create this space for you, right? Uh, so Ankita asks if there is any magazine online or offline for psychology related topics. Um, nothing of that comes to my mind right now, Ankita, but yeah, I think uh, I can look that up and share it with you. But always, you know, when if you're active on social media, there are all of these magazines or platforms are uh, active too. And I'm sure you can find some uh, for that that is in your topic, right? Or in your domain. Um, and then this is another thing. Uh, this is happening very recently uh, in Bangalore. So these are nature walks where you can... Um, uh, interact so so there is a scientist or uh, someone who has uh, a curious curious mind in science right so this is uh, the one in front is ipsa ipsa jane so she is a sci artist uh, so what she does is she takes a bunch of people on a nature walk uh, monthly once i think over the weekend and so they uh, have um, conversations around whatever they observe, right? So usually there's a theme or topic that they choose. So I think very recently they had a uh, conversation around insects, right? So they go around observing insects um, in this space, having conversations, understanding, uh, you know, how and why such, uh, uh, you know, features of an insect uh, and how it's exhibited and things like that, right? So these are just curious conversations trying to understand how things work, right? So this is something that you can look at too. So if you are, you know, a nature lover, if you want to talk about um, uh, things around you, right? So this is something that you can do too. And of course, as um, if you want to go into a little more niche, you can do that too, right? Uh, this is another initiative. Um, it's a citizen science project by Gubi Labs where they are, uh, so yeah. So this is an initiative where uh, they are trying to map all the trees in the city of Bangalore, right? So these, this is something that they are doing. And this is a citizen science project, uh, an example that I wanted to share. Um, and of course, you know, memes, uh, you had mentioned, you can, if you have a knack for memes, you can always do that too. Um, and so bringing all of this uh, together, 